All right, guys, we are back for another Dokkan Battle video. So we have a global and JP data download right here. We have both. Um, so it does look like what's very likely to happen is once the sync happens, I, I think it's smartest to assume that global is just going to adapt all the JP times. So I think that the banners are going to start dropping. I mean, for me, it would be like 4 a.m. Eastern, events drop 4 a.m. Eastern. Like, just understand that it seems like they are um, getting everything pretty much at the same time, which is good. Even, like, the tweets last night for LR Ultimate Gohan, they were a few minutes apart, but generally just right around the exact same time. That's the point of the sync. Should Everything should be exactly the same. So it, it's like we are trending in that direction with, you know, the data downloads now being at the same time and stuff like that. So all the characters are the same. Let, let's just focus. Oh, I guess and Booyan because the Dragon Ball story is coming to global. So global has the same five new characters that JP has. Uh, actually, excuse me, six characters. There's the five sub EZAs. They are direct sub EZAs too. They use previous EZA event medals. Uh, we can go over this. Um, then, of course, there is also the LR Ultimate Gohan. So there's the six new characters. Global's also got Booyan, which, of course, comes from the Dragon Ball story. Um, and then there's also uh, another world tournament. Now, I'm going to assume there's going to be some sort of data download or something to fix this. Because right now, these characters are not scheduled. Oh, does it not say? Here, let me pull up the uh, global Dokkan info page. But right now, um, the World Tournament is scheduled for next May. May of 2025. I'm going to assume that they're just going to go ahead and, like, you know, just do a minor correction. And this World Tournament, I believe it's going to be next weekend. So, like, the 24th, 25th, 26th is when the Global World Tournament's going to be. That's what it says right now, but it's scheduled for actually, um, you know, 2025 instead. Uh, so I guess let's... Yeah, see, so here you go. <laughs> So, I, I assume they're just going to move that up a little bit. The World Tournament is not actually going to be a year behind. Now, this is good, by the way, because now, you know, it, maybe it feels a little unfair as a global player that they've blasted through tournaments every weekend, damn near. But now, this is the most recent World Tournament on JP. So, it's like now, global and JP tournaments are synced as well with characters, um, including... Mr. Goat, who is actually legitimately, super seriously, one of the greatest free-to-play characters the game has ever released, which is huge because all these Majin Buu characters right now. Okay, so um, we'll take a look at missions in one second. Let's just focus on some of the characters. Um, LR Ultimate Gohan, I'm not super sure. Um, like, if we would look at, like, the top 10 LRs, I don't know if this guy would, would place... In what I think are the top 10 LRs. I, I don't know. Um, but, I mean, I do think that he's still going to be good. And he can fulfill needs right now. So, this is what the top 10 LRs I have listed. Now, I would change some of these placements around. So, don't really, like, freak out too much. But, because this is from March 2nd. It was the last time I updated top 10 LRs. Um, generally, like, I would feel like this is kind of like top 10 LRs. Maybe in LR Ginyu would be, like, spot 10. Certainly, I don't think I would put... I mean, I, I don't know. Like, I like what Ginyu is doing better than Ultimate Gohan, but I don't think I would rank Ginyu above Ultimate Gohan, if that makes sense. Because Ultimate Gohan, it's going to be pretty easy to just run him on a lot of category teams. He does have a couple of Boo Saga, um, you know, like, restrictions, stuff like that in here. But I don't deem these as, like, super crucial towards him being a good character. I don't think so. Yeah, I don't I don't know why, like, man, they kind of trolled a little bit with Piccolo right there. Piccolo is only, like, he's just in the intro. Like, they could have had Piccolo shooting a blast right there, by the way. They really could have. Like, like, okay, so he has the unit super. It, it's just basically essentially with Gotenks right there, right? But, like... They could have kept this exactly the same, right? So the condition is the same. You just need them. But then Piccolo is also there in the animation too. Like they didn't need to skip out on him. It, it just looks looks a, a little bizarre. But you guys get what I'm saying. They didn't need to add like a Piccolo in here or anything like that. They just could have put him in the animation. I think it would have felt just a little bit better if Piccolo was there. Because obviously the third character from this art is Super Saiyan 3 Goku. But that's the Dokkan Fest that came out last week. So again, we'll see... Um, where exactly this Gohan is. By the way, he is a yellow coin LR. I mean, you could tell immediate leader skills how you could tell immediately. 
Um, you know, so he's a shitty leader, essentially. Uh, you're not running Yellow Queen LRs as leaders. Um, but I think that he can help out a bunch of these teams. Uh, a reminder that we had, you know, the biggest power creep in Dokkan history. Um, many strong characters have been kind of pushed to the side. So it's good to get, you know, kind of like strong options in there. This Gohan is directly helping other characters. I think I probably would like to see an Earthbred Fighter leader come out anyway. I'm not a fan of 23rd World Tournament Goku. I'm not a fan of Yamcha. So I would like to see a new actual, like, leader drop for that. Um, and, you know, maybe like a Saiyan Saga Goku or something like that. I know it maybe sounds like I'm trolling when I say a base form Goku. But, I mean, yeah, we, like... All the base form Gokus are pretty much dead now. That's why it was so moronic what they did last year, spamming base form Gokus at the same time, because now they're all aged out. And it's like, now we need a new one. Like, they, they should not be doing that, just spamming one character like that. Like, I could kind of get away with Super Saiyan 3 Goku because it's two different named characters. But when you're just doing base Goku, base Goku, base Goku, like, it, it just seems bizarre. Uh, all right, so we have Ultimate Gohan. Again, we'll see. The combo of him plus Tech Ultimate... By the way, Tech Ultimate Gohan, I cannot describe to you guys how Giga Charge this guy is now going to be. Like, pe we, we've never had this before, where we have... I, I mean, again, even if this AGL LR Ultimate Gohan is not, like, top 10 or something like that, he's not bad. He, he's just not... I don't think he has some of the mechanics, personally, that I think would put him above, like, some of these other LRs, right? Like, like what Gogeta can do, what Bo Boutanks can do, Broly. Like, I, I just don't know that I'm going to see... Because this Gohan, he's mainly, at like, a damage-dealing type character. Um, but he does have guard, at least. He does have a defensive mechanic. But, like, this guy will be at his best in slot two. I mean, but, of course... Uh, let me let me not tread down that road because every character every character is going to be better in slot two because every character gets tons of defense when they super and stuff like that right but he does have a little bit of support here um so this outside of i mean like cell max super battle road battlefield spots like this of course can be pretty good um and then he also does have this right here as well um, so like that little defense right there, I mean, that, that could be nice for some of these characters, right? Um, like some of these go tanks and stuff like that, that will run, he'll, he'll be able to give a little bit of support. I don't know. I, I think it'll be pretty good. I think that the combo of this guy plus tech ultimate Gohan is going to be nasty. It should work on both super saiyan three Goku's team and fat boost team, by the way. So that's going to be pretty good. All right, so there's Ultimate Gohan, again, like a borderline top 10 character or something like that. If you dir just directly compare, like, oh my god, he's not number one or two like Bulma last year, like, that doesn't mean he's a failure. Just pointing that out. Uh, so then we have the Goten and Trunks. By the way, so these characters, I actually made a couple of tweets, which it, it's just... One reason I like to make a lot of tweets like this is especially when I'm recording videos, it's very good to just refer to my own tweets. Because you guys know, I've said this many times, I like to show things and not just tell. So, the Goten and Trunks, they need Int, Gotenks, Sub-Easy Medals. Um, STR, Fat Boo, and Int, Hercule, they need STR, Super Boo, Easy Medals. And then the physical Gotenks Boo, he needs Int, Buhan, Easy Medals. So, you are going to have to go on a little bit of like a, you know, a, a scavenger hunt. Um, in order to be able to grab all of the necessary medals right here. I mean, I guess that's something that's kind of, you know, unfortunate, having to jump all over the game trying to get these medals. Uh, oh, we could also talk about the medals that you need for Dokkan Fet, or, excuse me, the LR Ultimate Gohan. So, we need Int, uh, 14 Int Ultimate Gohan medals, that's these ones right there. We need 56 Tech Ultimate Gohan medals, that's this and this right there. We need 14 Tech Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks medals right there, and then 14 of the LR Tanks slash Buhan medals right there. Um, so there's those. Now, in terms of these EZA characters, I don't know that any of the five are, like, mega elite, like, oh my god, like, they're, you know, must-runs everywhere. They seem solid-ish, and that's probably about it. I think Goten and Trunks, they could be pretty interesting. Their kits are exactly the same. They're the same character. I think that they could be pretty interesting if, like, a Kamehameha leader came out. Like, I don't know, like, I don't know how well it would go over if, like, we actually got a new Kamehameha leader that's Krillin. But, like, if we did, these two could be really crazy. Because it's like, I mean, you look at their support and stuff like that that they do give. Um, the damage reduction and stuff. If you've got these characters, if Goten and Trunks, if they're in slot three, 
with another Goten and Trunks on the rotation, they're crazy. Um, but I, I think a lot of it, like, I would want to run them on a Kamehameha team. And then, of course, you'd want to have at least a couple of Goten, Trunks, or Krillin cards in here in order to be able to get all their abilities. So we'll see. We'll see. But um, we easily, I mean, I don't know, maybe they do like a Bio Broly movie celebration or something like that. I know some people might say, oh my god, they could never. But it's like, dude, like, I mean, Bio Broly getting a Dokkan Fest? Like, I, I, Bio Broly gets a Dokkan Fest? I personally will not be mad. Like, I, I, all movie bosses can get Dokkan Fest in my eyes. I got no problem with that. So there's that. Although nowadays every single character get a Dokkan Fest. Like, be serious. Like, you know, they gave Videl a Dokkan Fest years ago. Like, any character can get a Dokkan Fest. So, this Boo, he's definitely going to be a good world tournament option. Um, I do think that there's potential, depending upon, like, the, the team and the stage and stuff like that, there certainly are shenanigans that we can be able to get done um, with the amount of damage reduction he's got and stuff like that. Um, I'm not really super sure on this Fat Boo, though. I'm going to want to use him a couple of times and get a nice feel for him. Uh, it probably is a bit of a nuisance, though. That in Dokkan Fest Fat Boo is the leader of the team. Because um, in Dokkan Fest Fat Boo, I mean, in my experience, running him in slot one typically fails in that, you know, I'd run him in slot one to try and get him killed or revived. That typically fails. Um, so a lot of times it's just like, at, at this point, like, it's just like, whatever, like, I'm just running him in slot two and three all the time. So that would kill the links for this guy. Um, but we'll see. I mean, we'll see. It's, it's, he seems solid. I don't want to go too crazy, because some of these sub-EZAs, I think it could be a little difficult to judge. Like, if you get a lot of STR key spheres here, I mean, his damage reduction, I mean, damage reduction is very powerful, right? Then we have Int Hercule. Um, he seems to have a decent... Oh, 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 wh what is this? Does this... Do we have the percentages? I'm not sure what the percent... I'm very curious what the actual percentages is of... Uh, for TN showing up. I'm very curious. Because TN, it says 50% chance of Super Attack transforming, and then Power Supremely Booster for 5 turns. I'd love to know, like, does that mean he's just going to get 50% attack and defense for 5 turns, or what? I'm just curious about that. Uh, and then you have the Stun, which of course can be very good for Super Battle Road. Um, he seems, I mean, he's solid. I mean, an easy A for this guy. We know how good he was. He was bugged when Cell Max first came out. That's one reason people were able to dominate with this guy. Um, but I mean, certainly with the damage reduction he's got, he's got some debuffs in here. He's got the dodge. I mean, he has a lot of tools. I mean, he'll be better. I could see this guy getting play for sure. Uh, and then finally there's boo tanks here. I think if you're running a full, like in fat boo, full boo team or something like that, I think we could potentially get away with this guy in like as the floater, like the final floater. I mean, I, I would say this without a doubt. I would probably rather run this guy over LR Super Boo. Probably. Because the thing about LR Super Boo is that he has to get hit 500 times to build up his defense. Which, I mean, he sucks defensively. So it's one of those things where it's like you have the really bad defensive character that has to get hit in order to build up their defense. I hate, ha I hate having to get hit, like, period, pretty much. It's, it's usually a nuisance. Um, but I, I would look at this guy, full dodge build on this guy as the last character on the team. You know, the team, of course, the core of the team is LR Buhan, Int Fat Boo, Exchange Boo, um, and Mr. Goat, right? Uh, you know, they should be able to work pretty effectively. So there's all of them. Uh, we looked at them. We looked at all the medals and stuff like that. There is a mission. Powerful Comeback has a mission for this Buhan Red Zone stage. So we'll, we'll see how tough Buhan is going to be. I imagine this is going to be a really fun stage. And this drops... Oh, this drops at 2 a.m. So this drops two hours before the banner. That's actually awesome. I, I love when they don't just drop everything at the exact same time. Because I know for me, the second the banner drops, it's like, you know, we're off to the races on, you know, Rainbow and Gohan, getting in the link level 10, getting all the videos up and stuff like that. So that'll be good. We'll, we'll, we'll jump into that. I, I don't be shocked. Considering Buhan is stage three, there might only be one more stage. Stage 4, which could be Kid Boo, by the way. Um, but don't be shocked if Buhan is a, uh, like a Supreme Battle Spectacle level stage. I do think so. I think that within short order, like whatever the final stage is here is going to way be the hardest stage on Global. Um, Kid Boo, 
Kid Buu might very well be the hardest fight in the game. I could easily see him being stronger than the Gogeta Blue fight. Easily, easily. So there's that. Um, there's one of these. This is for the Bojack uh, support memory. We'll take a look at that in a second. There's a new Extreme Super Battle Road stage for... Um, I'd have to double check what stage 57 is. I, I don't know that it matters, so it's going to be very easy. Uh, okay, let's take a look at the support memory, and then I guess we can finish up here. So it's the Bojack one. It's a movie support memory. It's right there. Uh, all right, so let's see what Bojack is rocking with right here. Oh, did the page crash? Hold on. One second. Uh, it's okay. Okay, it looks like it's it's the translation is a little wonky. I think what it's saying is, on turn five, attack and defense of all allies get fifteen percent for three turns, and then I think if there's a movie boss or time traveler enemy. Another 10% attack and defense for superclass allies for two turns. And then 10% attack up for uh, other world warrior allies for one turn. Is what I think it is. That, that seems pretty good, actually. Um, because so many support memories are strong right away. And this one seems like it's strong, like, deeper into the fight. So, like, you, this potentially could be good... For, you know, maybe if there's, like, some mission... Because you, you never... Know, again, you got global players. You guys saw how tough that one mission was uh, that used five int characters against the, the first Boo Saga Red Zone stage, right? And it, it wants you to use no items for that. But you can beat the mission with no items using a support memory, and it'll still count. So I do think it's very important to grab these. These could help a lot for some sort of mission like that, right? So, all right. Uh, let me know what you guys think about the data download. We'll see about LR Ultimate Gohan. Um, again, I probably am not the highest on him the way his kit is right now, but he, I think he could look ridiculously explosive. It's one of these things where it, it, it's... Like, if you're not really focusing so much on just what he does, but what potentially the combo of him and Tech Ultimate Gohan does. I, because Tech Ultimate Gohan, with his links and potentially with support from this guy, Tech Ultimate Gohan is going to be ludicrous next to this guy. And Tech Ultimate Gohan will easily be able to go in slot one, and then this character can sit in slot two, and they're going to cover all of the damage. I Like, this character's kind of, again, I don't know, maybe like an updated LR cooler. Like, it's kind of like... LR SDR cooler, except he's guarding and he's got some defensive capabilities or something like that. Like it's like that's that's kind of I think how I'd describe this guy. So uh, let me know what you think of LR Ultimate Gohan and the global and JP data downloads. Thanks guys for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time.